Picture this, it's the 1930s. The US government is broke. Farms are collapsing. People are literally choking to death on dust storms. And in the middle of this chaos, Washington decides, hey, you know what will fix this? Let's build a wall, but not of bricks, of trees. Yeah, not a metaphor, not an onion headline. The United States actually tried to plant a man-made forest stretching nearly 100 miles wide and 1,000 miles long, from Canada all the way down to Texas. It was called the Great Plains Shelter Belt Project, but let's be real. It was America's Great Green War, a giant environmental band-aid that sounds more like a Dr. Seuss book than a serious government program. But here's the kicker, parts of it actually worked. Part 1. The Dust Bowl Nightmare Let's Rewind. Why would anyone even consider planting a forest wall across half the country? Answer. The Dust Bowl. The 1930s Great Plains had become a real-life apocalypse movie. Farmers had ripped up millions of acres of prairie grass, leaving the soil naked. Add in a decade-long drought, and boom, you get dust storms so massive they blacked out the sun. Entire towns vanished under dunes. Kids wore gas masks to school. Cows literally suffocated. And the government terrified that the entire middle of America was about to turn into the Sahara Desert. Q. Franklin D. Roosevelt. What if we planted our way out of this? Part 2. The Great Green Idea. Thus, the Great Plains Shelter Belt was born in 1934. The plan. Plant a belt of trees up to 100 miles wide, running north to south across the heartland. These trees would act like giant windbreaks. Slow the storms. Hold the soil in place. Save farming. Think of it like America trying to build its own eco-fortress. Not a wall to keep people out, but a wall to keep dust in check. And unlike most government projects, this one wasn't just PowerPoint slides. They actually did it. Between 1935 and 1942, workers planted over 220 million trees across 30,000 shelter belts. That's one of the largest ecological engineering experiments in history. Part 3. Did it work? Sort of. Here's where it gets juicy. Did this insane idea work? Well, yes and no. On the one hand, those trees did help stabilize soil and reduce wind erosion in local areas. Farmers reported fewer storms ripping their fields apart. Towns saw less dust rolling through Main Street. But here's the dark side. It wasn't enough to stop the dust bowl on its own. What actually saved the plains was, wait for it, Ray. The drought finally broke in the early 1940s. Suddenly, people started saying, hey, that forest wool thing, maybe it wasn't so magical after all. Still, the shelter belt didn't vanish. Many of those planted trees are still standing today, decades later, serving as windbreaks and wildlife habitats. It wasn't a total flop. It was more like an overly ambitious climate bandage. Part 4. The Biggest Reveal, America's Forgotten Green War. Here's the wild part most Americans don't even know. The US literally built its own green Great Wall decades before China tried it. China today is spending billions planting a forest wall to stop the Gobi Desert from swallowing Beijing. Africa has its own Great Green Wall to stop the Sahara. But America, we did it first, in the 1930s. Except unlike the Great Wall of China, ours wasn't stone. It was soft, green, and half forgotten. Part 5. Lessons for today. Now let's get real. Planting trees sounds wholesome, but it also shows America's obsession with giant, bold solutions. A wall of trees from Canada to Texas. It's brilliant and bonkers at the same time. And here's the irony. Almost 100 years later, climate change is back on the agenda. Mega droughts, wildfires, soil loss, the same problems we faced in the Dust Bowl, now global. And guess what? Experts are again saying, plant more trees. Except this time, we have satellites, AI, and drones. Instead of sending farmers with shovels, we can launch tree planting robots. The question is, will we learn from the Dust Bowl or repeat it? So, did America really build a forest from Canada to Texas? Yes, sort of. It wasn't continuous, it wasn't perfect, and it didn't single-handedly save the plains. But the attempt was real. The trees are real. And the story is one of the strangest only in America experiments you'll ever hear. We didn't just build highways, malls, or suburbs. We tried to build a wall of trees across the continent. Because when America goes big, it doesn't go halfway. Thanks for watching Unpacking America. 
hit subscribe, drop a comment. Would you live next to a thousand mile tree wall? And check out our next episode where we uncover another forgotten project that literally tried to re-engineer nature.